where a community is coming together to help the family of this man. The 24-year-old was found dead during last week's blizzard. Now police believe he was murdered. Our Michael Abeda has more details for us tonight. Michael, still so many questions to be answered about this crime. Yeah, Jim, Aurora police aren't saying much, but his community is coming together to help send him to El Salvador one more time. Delia Rivera's family has owned Tienda Salvadoreña for 25 years. It survived so long because it's a taste of home for immigrants from Central America. You come and you meet people and they become like your lifelines. You meet different people of the same um, so mostly these guys hang out all together. That's why when she heard about the death of Martin Galdames, a young man from El Salvador living in Aurora, she knew she had to do something. She's collecting donation for Martin's family. You know, some people put $100 to, you know, whatever you can. Delia didn't know Martin, but she says a lot of people in Denver and Aurora did. She says the Central American community is taking it hard. But I think this kid hit more home because of the age. He was just, he's been here about two, three years, I, I understand. So... Like I said, they were all once this guy. The money will be used to ship Martin's body back to El Salvador so his parents can bury him there. Delia says it's the least Salvadoreños can do for one of their own. They have come together a lot, um, a lot lately. Now, again, like I said, police aren't saying much about this case, but it is an active investigation. So if you know anything, give Aurora police a call. In Aurora, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado first.